This is where the fun begins. In a year without a single Star Wars movie, is there any hope, any spark to light a fire of the fandom? Actually, yes. While it may be time for Star Wars movie production to find a balance, that doesn't mean there isn't a lot going on for Star Wars in 2024. Just look to the stars. The star background of Disney Plus, that is. Look at Disney Plus. Everything's on Disney Plus. Anyway, whatever. Let's get to the good stuff. Watch it. <laughs> One of the most intriguing Star Wars stories to come is also likely to be the first one we'll see in 2024, Star Wars Skeleton Crew starring Jude Law. This live-action coming-of-age series is ostensibly about four lost children trying to make their way home in around the same time frame as The Mandalorian post-Return of the Jedi. This mysterious series has released very little hard information on what it truly is, though the tiny amount of footage released at Star Wars Celebration focused heavily on the new age and the children needing someone to point them in the right way for the future, with a force-wielding character played by Law likely to fill that role. Backed by the creative team of John Watts and Christopher Ford of Spider-Man Homecoming and featuring directors such as the Daniels of Everything Everywhere All at Once, Skeleton Crew looks to be a very interesting entry of Star Wars lore and has the potential to elevate the show to places previously untread by the franchise. Originally slated for late 2023, the current release date is sometime in 2024, though it's speculated to drop sometime around January. All eight episodes of Skeleton Crew will be streamed on Disney+. When have we ever followed orders? Star Wars The Bad Batch is coming to a close with the upcoming Season 3 as we finish out the story of Clone Force 99, continuing at some point after Season 2's cliffhanger ending. While story details were scant when The Bad Batch was previewed at Star Wars Celebration 2023, we can gather that Sheev Palpatine will come into focus, especially with Omega held captive, and it looks like the clones and the nature of cloning will be a big part of this final chapter, and Finnick Shand will reappear for the first time since Season 1. While an exact date hasn't been announced, the series premiere is certain to debut sometime in 2024 on Disney+. Plus. Call it what you will. Let's call it war. Thought by many to be the best Star Wars series of all, Andor is making a return after its thunderous season one finale, uprising and escape from Ferrix as construction of the Death Star barrels ahead. Does knowing the fate of its main character change the events of this series? Not really, as many have called the Tony Gilroy helmed creation incredibly poignant, stirring, and a must watch. If you haven't, we strongly encourage you to watch the first season of Andor. All 12 episodes of Andor season two will most likely premiere sometime in 2024. That's what a reckoning sounds like. The long-awaited live-action debut of Star Wars' High Republic era is coming in 2024, set way before the Skywalker saga, which almost all of Star Wars media is focused on. Here, we'll see the height of the Jedi as dark side powers begin to stir from the shadows, with an incredibly compelling cast including Amanda Stenberg, Daphne Keene, Jodie Turner-Smith, Manny Jacinto, and Carrie Ann Moss. There's a ton of promise in this mysterious and burgeoning period of the Star Wars galaxy. Like much on our list, the release window for this one is wide open. Eight episodes episodes of The Acolyte will drop sometime in 2024. Season 1 of Dave Filoni's animated show Tales of the Jedi gave us more insight on important yet mysterious Jedi characters Ahsoka Tano, Count Dooku, and, yeah, even Yaddle. Season 2 was announced at Star Wars Celebration Europe in 2023, but really that's about all the information we know about it so far. We don't know if the stories will continue on Season 1's characters or explore other Jedi, nor do we know what time period these tales will be set in. There are many more promising Jedi stories to explore, and Season 2 is expected at some point in 2024. And we can most likely expect all episodes to drop at once, like the show's first outing. And who might you be? I want to survive. I have to play their game. Frell, yes, do I want to play this video game. Announced last year, Star Wars Outlaws is definitely the game we are most excited for next year. An action-adventure open-worlder set between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Outlaws focuses on K. Vess, an outlaw, and Nyx, a cutie, as they work on a heist of galactic proportions, including several known and new planets. K and Nyx operate as scoundrels working between the margins as the Galactic Empire and crime syndicates rule the underworld. Once again, no exact release date on this one, except the year, 2024. Impossible to see, the future is. Now there is a lot, and I mean a lot, set to come from Star Wars, but much of it is in earlier development stages. 
or have straight up unknown statuses. We're focusing on the projects that have actual news attached to them, but we'll round out the lesser known projects at the end. Here's everything in active development for the Star Wars galaxy. It's not quite officially titled Heir to the Empire, but I mean, come on, you know they're gonna call it that. Newly minted Lucasfilm Chief Creative Officer Dave Filoni is working on a big movie to pull together a bunch of the Disney Plus Star Wars stories, and we seriously need to let this man cook. He's weaving a story between Disney Plus series The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and Ahsoka, and this upcoming movie is supposed to bring them all together. Based on the fact that Grand Admiral Thrawn is now back in the proper Star Wars galaxy after narrowly escaping the former apprentice of Anakin Skywalker, he's gonna be psyched when he finds out who destroyed the Empire. Also, whatever former Jedi Balin Skull has planned in a galaxy far, far away with the relics of the Mortis Gods will probably be a big deal at some point down the line. And don't forget my boy Lil Din Grogu, casually on his way to becoming the literal future of Star Wars. Can't wait to see he and Papa Din back in action and with Mandalorian Season 4 coming, yeah, I don't know when, this may be the next time we see these boys again. Anyway, still officially untitled Heir to the Empire movie is supposed to hit theaters sometime in 2026. And if that seems like too long a wait, just you wait. More. Time. Also somewhere on the development horizon is an ancient Old Republic movie directed by Logan and Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny director James Mangold. This film has been described as a Dawn of the Jedi kind of project, depicting the very first Jedi and the birth of the Jedi Order more than 25,000 years before a ship's broken hyperdrive led to the deaths of something like 155 billion lifeforms. But I digress. Announced at Star Wars Celebration 2023, Mangold's Star Wars film is supposed to be biblical in scope. Sounds very cool, but we got a long wait for this one. Not slated to hit theaters until sometime in 2026 or beyond. One movie is dealing with Star Wars' past, and this one is all about the future. Director Charmin Obaid Shinoy is working on a movie about the new Jedi Order, led by none other than Daisy Ridley's Rey Palp I mean Skywalker. Rey Skywalker is her name. Set 15 years after the whole galaxy showed up to tell Emperor Darth Sidious Sheev Palpatine exactly what they thought of him, and Rey channeled all of the Jedi to show him what unlimited power actually looks like. So, what happens after that? Well, the new Jedi Order movie is supposed to get into that, as Rey is supposed to restart the Jedi Order from scratch. Maybe we'll see Rey f some shit up with that yellow lightsaber. Maybe we'll see Finn finally embrace his destiny as a Jedi. And maybe we'll see a powerful young Mandalorian Jedi named Din Grogu show up to help lead this new order back to glory. Anyway, that is all 100% speculation, but this was supposed to be the next new Star Wars film, originally slated for 2025. And lastly, there's the Taika Waititi Star Wars movie, which is still in development. The Thor Ragnarok director has been slowly working on a mysterious Star Wars movie that he says will evoke the magic of the original trilogy. Though he won't direct the next Thor movie, Taika has a pretty full list of projects, which means this Star Wars movie, if it ever comes out, might not hit theaters until at least 2030, which is like a million years from now. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you or not. Hmm? Anyway, which upcoming Star Wars thing are you most hyped for? Let us know down in the comments. We just hired Elon Sleazebagano to read through them all. So how's it going down there, Elon? I want to go home and rethink my life. Good luck with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And for more Star Wars, here's why recasting Balin's Skull is the right thing to do. So check that out and make sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.